What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a watch available for purchase on my website with the Meister Singer number one. So Meister Singer is a really awesome brand that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. So in this video, if you have any questions, wanna learn more, link in the description to the product page where you can also purchase the watch and learn some more information about it. And in addition, definitely book a call with me. There's a new feature on my website where you can find a personal time to chat with me. Don't hesitate, would love to do it, love to chat with you. It's been a lot of fun doing this with people that are followers of the channel. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. Now first looking at a rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 43 millimeters, thickness of 10.5 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 51 millimeters, water resistance of 50 meters, movement is a manual SW210 from Salida, crystal is sapphire, and price $1,495. But if you do use promo code first order at checkout, you're a first time customer, you can get a discount off of this watch as well as other select brands on the site. So definitely go check that out, more details on the website. Now before we begin, just a bit of background on Meister Singer as they're a pretty unique brand with a bit of more defining characteristic that you probably have already noticed with their watches featuring just one hand to tell the time. Now this unique approach to measuring time creates a lot of conversation around these pieces with every hash mark along the outside of the dial measuring five minutes, but we can get into more of that later. The German brand was formed in 2001 and have quickly elevated as one of the fastest growing mechanical watchmakers out there producing their watches in Switzerland. Their name is derived from Meister Singers during the Middle Ages, and the period was also a point of inspiration with many historical middle-aged single-hand clocks being a point of influence. The model that we have here today is their number one. So it's the watch that really is kind of that flagship design, kind of that baseline and entry point into this world of their single hand watches. And I do have a series of different videos on Meister Singer models that you can check out on the playlist page on this channel. So first looking at this watch on the wrist, we have a larger case variant here of this number one at 43 millimeters, which does have quite a bit of presence here when factoring in the lug to lug of 51 millimeters, which I wouldn't say that we're larger than 43 millimeters. I'd say it's pretty on par what to kind of expect there. It's going to size out the majority of the wrists out there, I would say on the smaller end. So I would recommend this for wrists, I'd say 6.75 inches and up. Usually a typical kind of cutoff here for watch diameters. But again, as always, comes down to personal preference. The thickness on this piece is quite slim at just 10.5 millimeters, which certainly is assisted by the manual caliber within. The case comes in with polished lugs and bezel and a brush side of the case. Along the three o'clock side, we have a large crown that will help with the manual winding of the movement within. It also is easy to engage the single hand at the center of the dial, which does require additional movement to rotate around in order to keep setting time precise. The strap that comes with this piece is in a suede style coming in gray that just looks great, but one point here is that the holes on the strap are not great to supply that for someone to say has smaller wrists. So you might not even be able to actually size this one appropriately to your actual wrist given the lack of holes here. That said, with a 20 millimeter lug width, plenty of different strap options available. And if you do buy this watch from my website, we can actually throw in a free strap with your purchase as well, up to $50. Just follow up to the order and we can help you out. Looking back towards the front of the dial here, we have a thick dome sapphire crystal that provides a unique viewing experience depending on the angle. The version that we have here comes with this deep midnight blue. The dial surface comes in a slight sunburst finish that will glisten in the light, but will also resemble a darker shade of blue nearing black depending on the lighting conditions and the angle. The dial with its vivid deep blue helps contrast well with the printed white text on the dial surface. At the 12, the writing of the brand's logo with the presence of a fermata. And I know what this is just because I have a father as a composer, but this is a musical notation expressing pause of an unspecified length on a note or a rest, which is an idea that kind of permeates its way through the way that Meister Singer watches kind of tell time. But now how you read the time on this might appear a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes incredibly easy and pretty carefree. I actually kind of like this a lot. Along the outside of the dial, there are markers, and with each of these markers, it measures five minutes. At the every 15 minute mark, there's a slightly larger marker, and then the every half hour, just a little bit slightly larger than that, and then the hour marker is gonna be the longest of the line markers with a corresponding numeral residing next to it. This of course is not gonna give precise timing, but I actually find it quite interesting. And I think really leads to a lot of conversation when people see this strapped on. They're very curious when you're wearing a Meister Singer watch. And flipping the number one over, we have a closed case back featuring a different kind of array showcasing several fermatas in a pattern around the central polished emblem at the center. Within the watch, we have a very popular manual caliber Swiss made the Salita SW210. This movement is the brother to the other popular 4 hertz automatic movement from Salita with their SW200, with this one being a manual wound movement, so it's going to require manual winding, going to have the absence of that rotor, which is also going to, of course, help with kind of keeping the overall thickness down on this piece. 
but very similar to that SW200. You're going to get pretty good performance out of these, but also you're going to be getting a great serviceability and reliability in the process. This movement is operating at 4 Hz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, and has a power reserve of 42 hours. And one thing I will say too is you probably could expect that the regulation on these could be pretty lackluster just because there's no second hand. But that's not the case. These are typically running quite well. Meister Singer is actually regulating all of their movements that are being shipped out. So expect good performance well within the standard specifications of a Salida movement. Most of these are actually running in single digits. Now just to unpack a few things about this piece, both on the negative and the positive end, uh, for this particular variant here, this one's going to be a little bit larger with the size, but there's a wide catalog of Meister Singer watches out there, so I don't think you necessarily could hold this too much against it. The other thing is, and I think ultimately when looking at Meister Singer is, is I think it could kind of have some type of a gimmicky kind of approach for some people if you're not looking in this direction. I see these watches more as a complement to a full collection and kind of providing some type of fun talking point rather than that go-to piece once you get over $1,000. And I think the other thing is, because there's no moving second hand, I think a little bit of of the kind of movement and liveliness of the dial does kind of get simmered down a bit. But in terms of the things that I think are very cool is this is unlike really anything else in the marketplace in terms of its design. I think it's a cool way to tell the time. It's very unique. It's going to create a lot of different conversation as well. I get asked so many questions. If I'm wearing a Meister Singer watch, what what is that? What, what is going on? I think that just creates for people that are not into watches a lot of fun dialogue that can take place. And I think Meister Singers, despite not being for everybody, I think are really cool watches and certainly have their place in the marketplace being a great German brand with Swiss manufacturing. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. But also if you're in the market for this watch, Links in the description to the product page where you can actually purchase the watch, but also where you can book a call with me to talk through your next purchase of this watch or any other watch on my website. Don't hesitate to use that feature. I really love just actually doing it and talking with people that follow the channel and no pressure as well to buy anything. It's just really fun to chat. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.